Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your mid-month reading for the month of July of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, <coughs> I could potentially be talking to a cross watcher here. So the roles could potentially be reversed, but keep in mind this is a reading meant for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for a complete picture of what could potentially be happening for you in this moment or this cycle. Also, if you're looking for love messages, I recommend that you check out your Venus sign, either your Venus sign or maybe even the Venus sign of your potential partner or your actual partner. Uh, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. And keep in mind that this is a timeless reading. So just because it's coming through for the mid-July doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Yeah? All right, Aquarius. Let's get into this here. So um, there is a release of something that's potentially happening for you right now. But what I'm feeling is that you're kind of afraid of this. Not that you're afraid of it. What you're afraid of, I feel like, or what you're hesitating towards, or maybe, <coughs> excuse me, or maybe what you don't want to face about the situation is that you got to let it go and that you got to move forward. I feel like somebody, I feel like Aquarius, some of, somebody here is trying to avoid that. And I'll tell you why. You have a number of cards that have come out here. Those cards being Justice, the Devil, and the Six of Swords. Underneath the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Cups, okay? But Justice is the only of these three cards that came out of the deck, okay? Justice came out, fell flat out, face down on the, on the table and was like, Justice is being served here or some sort of karmic balance is happening, is underway, is in process for you. But the other two cards of the Six of Swords and the Devil... They flipped over, but they did not come out of the deck. I had to search through the deck to find them. There is a heavy, heavy attachment. You are heavily attachment, attached to something, uh, Aquarius. You might be dealing with a Gemini, because <clears throat> I did just want to say that, or maybe you have Gemini energy. Ooh. Watch the Gemini reading. If this, if this is resonating for you, watch the Gemini reading for mid-month, mid-July. Um, but there's something you're heavily attached to. And yes, it probably has to do with your past. And that could be why there's such a heavy attachment. Or for some of you, this is a soulmate situation that you don't necessarily want to let go of. But what the universe is trying to get you to understand here, what you need to understand, is that whatever it is you're... Uh, what I just heard, Aquarius, is that whatever it is you're being forced to walk away from, something about it is toxic. You need to understand that however it is you're being guided to move forward here, Aquarius, the universe is trying to assure you that you are moving away from something toxic or maybe some sort of codependent situation. You're, you're, the universe is literally trying to assure you, Aquarius, that you are moving, you are in the process of moving from rough waters to calmer waters. If you just give in and have faith and allow the universe to continue to facilitate this for you, you are eventually going to find yourself in a much better, much easier energetic situation to deal with before you even know it, okay? Justice, I promise you, justice is being served in your life, Aquarius. I, I wanted to say Gemini again. And, and you know why I feel like the Gemini reading might resonate with you so well, Aquarius? Is because in the Gemini reading, we were talking about how uh, we were talking about how somebody was moving to an upper echelon of service, but they needed to stop being a martyr. They needed to cut out toxic, devilish energies or people that are just using people, potentially like yourself, that want to be of service and want to help, just using them for that energy, but not doing anything to get them out, get themselves out of a toxic situation that they find themselves in, which eventually ultimately turns into an enabling situation for the person that's providing some sort of service. You've got to let that go, okay? That's what we were talking about in the Gemini reading. So that could potentially be resonating for you in this moment. I'm not going to take that. All right, Aquarius. Let's move forward here. 
Yeah. I'm going to give this five shuffles. And then we will see. Oh, look at that. The hermit came out. Some of you are needing to walk alone at this point. Independent service. You're needing to find yourself. You're needing to find your sense of confidence, self-confidence. You're needing to find your sense of self-sufficiency with the hermit and the king of wands. This is what I'm, what I'm getting. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. What I'm getting with this Aquarius is that there is a level of you needing to be so fucking confident within yourself that you're not going to allow anybody's bullshit to come in and try and, and, and dim your shine. That's the, that's the level of confidence the universe wants you to have in yourself, wants you to find within yourself right now, okay? All right, Aquarius. I promise you, not me, not I, not Eric, the universe, we promise you, Aquarius, that if you follow through with what it is you are, what it is, what path you are guided to take right now, things will work out in your favor better than you could have imagined okay we need you to trust us and we need you to believe in that we need you to dig down in the depths of your soul and find that truth find that confidence find that light especially if you're a light worker or a, a i did just hear an energy healer or some sort of provider in that way you need to be able to look at a situation and turn somebody down because you know you cannot help them. Because you know if you provide something to them, if you provide some sort of service to them, you will only be enabling them. All right, cool. Five shuffles for you, Aquarius. One. <laughs> for my Aquarians, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is two. Oh, shit. Look at that. Don't take them. This is three. Ooh, okay, wait. No, hold on. Aquarius, I gotta take this. These two cards that just came out, the Queen of Cups and the Tower. Boundaries are needed. For some of you, you guys have, been, have really, really, really been empathic, emotionally available, emotionally nurturing and all that stuff but with lacking some with a serious lack of boundaries and the tower is coming through saying enough is enough it's time to stop that straight up and down this is this is this is that moment where the person that was available or the energetic healer that was available to everybody at like every beck and call finally stands their ground and says no I need you. I need this. I need that. Blah, blah, blah. No. What? I said no. What do you mean you said no? I said no. What about that? Don't you understand? Aquarius, I am literally going through this exact energy right now. No. No. You want me to do what? No. Why? The answer is no. Three. Four. For my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And five. All righty. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Aquarius. <coughs> we have the Hierophant. And you know what's interesting? Underneath the Queen of Cups and the Tower was the Hierophant. And what this is talking about, and yeah, yeah, you definitely should watch the Gemini reading. Maybe even Libra. I don't know. But, um... The Hierophant here is talking about a level of discipline and actually needing to put boundaries in place, okay? From a masculine point of view, that's where the boundaries are coming in. But also the Hierophant is talking about discipline. Disciplining yourself enough to 
do what it is you need to do, take the steps that it is you need to take and to say what it is that you need to say to ensure a level of self-preservation so that you can continue to be available to those that you serve. Underneath the Hierophant is the moon. Underneath the moon is the Ace of Cups. Underneath the Ace of Cups is the Eight of Pentacles. There are some deceptive situations around you, Aquarius, or at least the, the situation that you find yourself in right now is deceptive. Things are not as they seem on the surface. And the only thing you really need to, to focus on right now, Aquarius, is this level of or understanding of self and unconditional love. And continue to keep your nose to the grind and keep moving or working towards what it is you need to be working towards. You may find yourself in a bind. <clears throat> you may find yourself feeling stuck. Not under, you may find yourself actually being forced or feeling like you're being forced to set boundaries with certain people or certain situations and not really understand why. But you will understand in the future or at some point. You will see this from, you will eventually see this from, <coughs> excuse me, you guys, from a different perspective that will bring understanding. But what it is you need to know right now, Aquarius, is that ultimately you can't keep going or going, you can't keep doing something the same way over and over and over again and expect to get a different result. You can't keep doing things the same way and expect to manifest whatever it is you're trying to manifest right now. At some point, you're going to have to change the game in order to actually get, receive what it is that you want. And that's why the discipline is needed here. Because again, things are not what they seem on the surface. This relationship, this circumstance, this job, whatever, something ain't right. But that's okay. Don't focus on that. Don't focus on trying to make sense of the illusion. Instead, keep focusing on self-love and self-preservation. Okay? First set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius. You have the Ten of Cups. You know, from the Ten of Cups, and maybe this is just an analogy, or maybe some of you are actually in this position. But what I'm getting from the Ten of Cups, Aquarius, is the vision of a doctor needing to serve the community or serve the people. And the, the doctor can only do so much for each and every individual. And at some point, this doctor or this service provider is going to have to cut somebody off and say, no, I cannot help you any further than this. And for some situations, the reason for that is because that person needs to do some things for themselves. The doctor, the healer, the energy worker, the provider can really only do so much. And sometimes people need to be put in their place to understand that. Ten of Cups is coupled with the Ten of Swords. What is this an ending of? This is an ending of depleting yourself or over giving for the sake of the community. Again, a certain individual or this doctor of this analogy is not God, okay? Yes, we're all a piece of God, but we can only do so much as individuals. At some point, the person, if the person is gonna heal, the person is going to have to take certain steps on their own. The, certain, the person is going to have to handle certain things by themselves. Of course, the doctor can sit there and prescribe these steps to take. If you're trying to, I don't know, release, or, or, or uh, 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 if you're trying to reduce your blood pressure or you're trying to regulate your glucose levels, 
right? Sure, insulin might help, but that insulin is only going to do so much. Sure, a certain blood pressure medication is going, it can help, but that blood pressure medication can only do so much. Sure, the doctor can sit there and prescribe these things to you, but if the patient doesn't take the steps to follow through with that, take your medication if that's applicable to you, or change their diet, then the doctor can't do a damn thing, right? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius. Ooh, there's the devil again. Toxic circumstances, toxic ties, toxic bonds, enabling situations. I mean, the empress really does uh, uh, represent that, but the devil can definitely represent that as well. The devil is coupled with the queen of swords, toxic circumstances, off with their heads. Done. This and, and, and it's coming out as the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, because at this point, you are represented by the King of Swords. So you're the one that would probably want to sit there and weed through every bit of evidence that comes your way before you make a decision. Now, because of that, because of that energy, <coughs> the King of Swords could possibly be, if negatively aspected, could possibly be... Uh, a procrastinator in making a certain decision. Like, bro, sis, we've seen this as many different possible ways as we could see it. Can we make a decision now? Okay. But hold up, because for some of you, for some of you, the people that you're involved with continue, continue to just bring you Reason after reason after reason after excuse after excuse after excuse and you being the provider that you are sit there and tangle with them Fine, I'll hear your next argument. Go through it. Go through it made my decision. Oh wait, but I have more Okay, fine. I'll hear your next argument. We're we through it. We through it. We through it. I've made my decision Wait, I have more Okay, fine. I'll read your next argument. You see what I'm saying? But instead, you have the Queen of Swords now. No more arguments. No more beating around the bush. What's done is done. What's said is said. The verdict is in. Ain't no, bull, ain't no boo shit about it. Cut the toxic out. Period. I said what I said. I am the doctor here, aren't I? You come here for my, my, my official and professional opinion or guidance correct then do as i say cut out the toxicity your challenge here aquarius damn is the king of cups look aquarius you know this is the right thing to do no it may not be easy because yes this patient may leave your office crying because they're so distraught that they have to do the one thing that they've been avoiding all along but quite frankly, Aquarius, that's not your problem, nor is it your fault. You are doing, you have done everything you could in this situation to help this person. And the one thing you keep prescribing to them is the one thing they refuse to do. At that point, that ain't about you. So you may have to cut this patient out altogether. You may have, and I know this is just an analogy, but maybe I am talking to a doctor. You may have to say to this patient, do not come through my door again. Because at this point, if you don't want to take this advice, there is nothing else that I can do to help you. So I'm going to have to bow out gracefully. And that may be something that fights against the very reason why you got into this line of service to begin with. But baby, you can only do so much. King of Cups is coupled with, whoa, you guys, the tower. Need I say more? I just explained it right there. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aquarius. Three of Swords. Yeah, this may lead to heartbreak. But you know what this is really going to lead to? 
somebody having to face their finally somebody finally facing their heartbreak and you know what aquarius i'm gonna keep up with this analogy you know what so the fuck what somebody may go may look at you all hurt looking like like they like you just abandoned them and say well fuck you i'm gonna get a second opinion and then in the back of your head you're like do you mean a fifth opinion a sixth opinion seven eight nine tenth opinion well what can you do about that aquarius everybody's got free will right yeah, that's heartbreaking. But so, but it, it but something is being said that needs to be said. The tower. Three of Swords is coupled with the Ace of Wands. That's interesting and fairly tricky. Yo, you know what, Aquarius? You know what this feels like? Somebody has some sort of conviction to carry forward this heartbreak and they're just going to keep doing it in perpetuity until it completely wears them down. And there's nothing you can do about that. But also, <coughs> what the Ace of Wands and the Three of Swords is saying here is, the Ace of Wands is saying, I am providing a way for you to deal with this pain. Do, a, do with it what you will. I can't stop you from hurting yourself from it. All I can do is provide you with the advice necessary to heal. It's your choice whether you're going to take that advice and run with it or not. All right, Aquarius, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your month and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>